guys, Colleen here, DIYer behind LemonThistle.com. Today I'm excited to be joining the DIY Mommy in a spring home tour. I don't usually do much to decorate for spring, but I thought that this was a fun opportunity to share with you the little bit that I do. I don't generally do a lot of the spring colors, bright colors. I kind of prefer neutrals. So I want to show you how I took things like neutrals and made them springish with some Easter shapes and Easter designs and of course fresh flowers. For this home tour, I wanted to share the main living area of our home. That is this living room here, which is attached to our dining room and our kitchen. It's all open to one another, it's not a huge space, and this is the hub of our home. Before we get started, if you have not yet subscribed, I would love if you did that so you don't miss out on any more DIY or home decor videos. Alright, let's get started. One of my favorite things to do when I'm decorating for the seasons is to fill vases with fresh foliage or branches. I love to have fresh florals and fresh greenery, but sometimes it's not totally affordable. So when I was at Michael's the other day, I picked up these faux eucalyptus stems and some faux, it almost looks like Dusty Miller, but I put those in the vase in the kitchen just to have when I don't have fresh eucalyptus there. There's actually three different kinds of eucalyptus. This one here on the mantel is called a seeded eucalyptus, and then the faux one, that's the traditional eucalyptus. As for fresh flowers, I like to keep it pretty simple. I don't usually go and buy a bouquet of flowers. I find that I can get a lot more if I buy by the stem, and I really love how modern it looks just to have a stem in a vase as opposed to a whole big bouquet. So this one that I have on the mantel here is an anemone. Anemones are some of my favorite flowers. They're so beautiful. I got the eucalyptus, the anemone, and this beautiful hydrangea here on the coffee table for less than the price of one bouquet from the grocery store. And that's from a florist just by buying by the stem. Speaking of flowers, I wanted to have some as a centerpiece on our table but instead of getting fresh cut flowers I thought that it would be fun to do potted flowers instead so that we can plant them in the spring I didn't want to go and buy ceramic plant pots for these little plants because I know they're only gonna be on my table for about a month until it gets warmer and we can plant them so instead I just took off the bright pink wrapping that they came in and I made some out of a matte black cardstock that I had just by crumpling the paper to give it a little bit of texture and then wrapping it around with double-sided tape other than fresh flowers and fresh greenery, some of the other ways that I like to decorate for spring is just by bringing in seasonal characters like bunnies and seasonal shapes like Easter eggs. But I like to do those in a little bit more of a modern way. I made this little hip hop sign here the other day. I did a Facebook Live on that, so that's on my channel as well. And I love the black lettering on the natural wood. It looks so modern, but this only cost me like $2 to make, so I'm pretty happy with that price tag. This watercolor Easter Bunny is actually a DIY. It's something that I'm gonna be sharing next week over here on YouTube. I really love how it's not your traditional Easter colors of pastel pinks and purples and yellows and green. I wanted to stick with the colors that I really love, and this watercolor look was so fun to create. Another thing that I love to do for the seasons is to swap out my letter boards. I love letter boards and chalkboards and little signs because they are so easy to personalize for parties or for seasons without going and buying anything new and without storing any new decorations. This is a totally kid-friendly home. We have four kids, ages four and under, in our house. So everything that we've gotten here, I'm not worried about them breaking or rocking. And because they're here, a lot of the decorations kind of revolve around them. So we have toys as decorations, and it's kind of a fun way for them to get involved in decorating. They like to help style things for me to take pictures of now. They're such DIY blogger kids. It's really fun. And I will let you guys know that it was hard work to keep this house clean for long enough to take this video. All the bigger kids were napping, but I had the little one here watching as I took these videos. I couldn't help but share a sweet face in here. I didn't really switch out much else of my decor. Those are my regular pillows on the couches, my regular throw blankets, my regular candles. I did pull one of my kids' pillows into the living room though. It has little bunny ears and we decided with Easter coming out it would be fun to have it out in the living room for them to show off to their friends. Another little DIY that I put together is just this tiny Easter egg pennant up here. I love the silver and how it shines in the window light right there. That is a really simple one, I just ironed that on. 
using heat transfer vinyl. That is really all that I do for decorating seasonally, swapping out plants, swapping out a couple books, and then of course my letter boards. If you've enjoyed this tour and you have questions about any of the furniture or spaces, I do have blog posts on pretty much every single one of these rooms, so I will pop the links for those in the description below so you can check those out if you like. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed a peek inside my home and I hope that if you like this video, you will give it a thumbs up button below and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos. If you're looking for more spring home decor ideas, make sure to check out all the videos in the playlist below.